Hello and welcome to this video where I will show you a quick way to get started with um, the framework Mithril in JavaScript and, um, and to make a, a Hello World page. Um, so here I have JS Fiddle. You, um, uh, the first thing you do, you need to add Mithril, the Mithril library as an external resource. Um, so just go to the Mithril documentation and um, to installation where you find uh, the link to the, this library. It's a very very short. Uh, it's it's just a seven kilo, kilobyte file, um, and um, you add it like this. Paste it in there and click plus, and now you have Mithril. So um, the the shortest way of uh, rendering a hello world on a web page you can use m dot render. So uh, it this uh, Mithril method takes two parameters. First, it takes uh, an uh, HTML element. You can use document dot body, for example. And the second parameter is the content, or the the V node, the virtual node, as they call it. And um, let's see. I was gonna write "Hello World" here. So let's run that, and it returns "Hello World." This is the HTML view. So. Um, Another way is to use the mmount method. This also takes an HTML element like this, and then it takes the component. And uh, let's call the component hello. And I will comment out this. And uh, let's create the component like this. Like this is um, a JavaScript object with the view method. That's uh, that's what a component is. So, just write a method in a in an object like this, and uh, with a return statement, and it will return this uh, m m method again. So here you can just uh, let's let's make a, an h1 tag and write hello world like that. So this should work also. Let's try it out. And it returns an h1 tag with hello world. You can also use, instead of put it in right in the body, you can uh, use the method get element by id, for example, and, and get an id from the web page. So I have to create that too, like that, and that now it will uh, it will place the component hello, which consists of this h1 tag, into the the div with an ID of content. So uh, that didn't work. Let's see what I did. I forgot parenthesis. I think yep. So. Um, I could also say something about this m method. m is um, it's a hyperscript function, and um, it allows expressing any HTML structure using JavaScript structure. And you can play around with this. So Arthur Clemens has a page where you can uh, convert between Mithril HTML to JavaScript. And actually, it is it is from HTML. So let's you can try like and create a div, and it will create it underneath. You can see the structure of it of it here. So if you do a like that, this is what will come out. So anyway, 
thank you for watching and um, I will probably uh, make another video about Mithril.